What's up YouTube? This is Tyler from Elite Snake Projects. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video on this channel. I've been focusing on my uh, other channel with my rhinoceros and uh, pixie frogs, but I'm back and mainly because there's some really big news. My, uh, my Woma just had a really nice clutch for me. She had 10 eggs. And it's her first clutch, which I think is pretty good for a Woma. I know they have some pretty big clutches, but 10 for a first clutch, I'm pretty excited. Um, yeah, there's the the mom. I feel like kind of bad. I cleaned out her cage and everything once I took the eggs away from her, but I still feel like she's kind of sad that they're not there. She was all wrapped up around them and really protecting them. She wasn't trying to bite me or anything, but... I don't know, I just felt kind of bad taking him away from her. But, here's, um, I got him in the incubator that I made. Uh, you guys could check out that, how to make an incubator on my channel. But, I got the eggs in here, and I don't know how many of you have actually, or actually who have Walmart pythons. Um, I'm not sure too many of my subscribers out there have them. But for any of you that do and have bred them, I could use all the advice I could get on how to incubate these guys to, you know, really get a high success out of hatching all of them because, I don't know, I'm a little nervous. It's actually my first time incubating any type of egg. I've bred boas before and they just have live young and it's pretty easy actually. It's, I like that. It's pretty nice. So I heard incubations like one of the hardest steps once you actually get your snakes to breed and everything so you know anyone who's got Walmas you know private message me it'd be cool if like you could uh, send me your number I'd love to talk I'm pretty cool with that but I've done you know obviously a lot of research I read a lot last night once she had the eggs and I'm feeling pretty confident I had the incubator set to about 89 so they're right around there 89 90 degrees which is uh what I heard for Wal for Walma is the best and I just have them on it's actually a hatch right mixed with uh I think it's perlite yeah the perlite I didn't have any vermiculite and a lot of people said to do a 50/50 of vermiculite and perlite but I just did a little bit of hatchrite that I had left because I tried to incubate some uh, just green iguana eggs not too long ago. And then I don't have any vermiculite. So should I, uh, would you guys recommend doing the 50-50 of the vermiculite? Like try to switch them over right away. Um, also, I heard that the eggs are going to dent in a little bit more than ball python eggs or anything like that. And that's normal. Uh, is that true? Should I expect them to dent? I already see one that has. And also, like, I'm kind of scared with mold. I don't want them, obviously, to get mold because that's uh, will kill the eggs. So what could I do? I know you don't want water, the condensation dripping right on the eggs. So, you know, I have a lot of questions. And anyone out there who could help me, I'd really appreciate it. So... I'm going to pull out the eggs just for a second. I was looking at them about 10 minutes ago, so the temperatures on it might be a little cool still. I don't like to pull them out too long because it's a little cool in this room. But I'll just show you guys real quick. They're pretty much buried. I heard it's good to bury them more so that the condensation doesn't drip right on the eggs. So if it does drip, the, the uh, perlite just soaks it up. So real quick, got my temp gun. Works pretty good. Got it at Home Depot, 20 bucks. And uh, these are a must when incubating to get the exact temperature of the egg. So really fast. I don't like to open this thing too long. I just have them in a Sterlite tub. And believe it or not, there's 10 of them in there. So that one's a little dented, kind of concerned. I got perfect. It's fluctuating from 90, 89, 90 to almost 91. 
So that's really good. That one's a little cooler. I think it's just because I opened it right now. So I'm fluctuating 88 to 89 on that one. And 88. So it could go up about a degree. That one's about 90. That's kind of weird. I think I need to get my fan back in here to help circulate the air better. So let me put the top back on. Wipe the condensation off the lid. Also, would you recommend putting the um, the film over this to hold the humidity in better? I know these guys are more of a dry incubate. You don't want to incubate them too wet. They're pretty, from a pretty arid and dry area in Australia, and a lot of people recommend incubating them pretty dry. But I'm kind of concerned because a couple, a couple of the eggs have already dented in a little bit. So... My temperatures seem good. Everything seems pretty set. So, also what should I be looking for? I know the eggs are going to get bigger. They'll grow a little bit. Um, what else? Just let me know, you guys. I can really use the help. I really want to hatch these guys out. and This will be my first clutch of uh, eggs I've ever produced of any type of snake. Produce boas, like I said, but never incubated eggs like this. So I'm pretty excited. You know, finally all the hard work of feeding and raising them up. My girl was tiny when I got her, and I'm so happy she bred for me. She's a really nice Wilma. So I'm really hoping the babies come out nice and light, just like her. I've seen a lot of dark Wilmas out there, and I don't like them. They just don't seem as nice as this orange and you gotta see your head super orange and here's the male he's looks just as good he's a little on the skinny side because he bred her all season but I mean just perfect yellow head with orange body he's a little bit darker than she is I think he might be going into shed but everyone who has Wilma's please let me know any advice check out my second channel with my rhinoceros iguanas I'll put the uh, link in the description if I forget it's retic r-e-t-i-c rhino man and like I said any help I could get I really appreciate thank you guys for watching the video and uh, stay tuned for more videos on this channel and also my second channel so as always, have a good day you guys and thanks for watching.